Well, how does this team go about bouncing back in game three? Uh, we know it's a big game. Every game's big. Uh, you know, we would have liked to have this one today, but uh, now we got to go in their house and take one. Take you, two. you got to Bieber personally early there, but then he really seemed to settle in. What, what was he doing that kept you guys off balance a little bit? Uh, he was locating the slider well. Um, you know, deception is tough to pick up. And, um, yeah, just, just throwing competitive pitches and uh, right off the zone. Judge has... Uh carry this team all year and uh, could you tell me uh, how tough it is to see him in this mini slot uh, the the series ain't over he's had what 10 or less at bats um, you know it's just a small sample size he, he's he's got plenty of time or you know he's got time and um, and it's over now, so that don't matter. We we got we got to win two out of three, and he's going to help us do so. You had mentioned his timing, how he felt like it was just a little bit off. Is there anything you've no noticed when when he's in the box? Um, no, nah, I mean, it, he'll he'll make an adjustment if uh, his timing's off. He'll he'll get started a little earlier, and um, he'll be fine. You never complain. You look shocked at that call that was the ball that was down right before the home run. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I really never see a reaction from you. Uh, you obviously were focused right after that and forgot about it, I guess. Yeah, you got to lock back in. I mean, um, it doesn't matter what just happened. I mean, if I if I stayed worried about that, I wouldn't wouldn't have been able to do uh, hit that homer. So you know, yeah, it uh, angered me a bit, but um, yeah, you still got to be locked in for what's next. When you see Aaron struggling a little bit, given your own history of hitting home runs, do you feel a little extra responsibility to try to pick him up? Um, he's gonna be fine. It's not he. Like I said, we got we got two out of three to win, and he's going to help us do that. So, um, you know, what, whatever whatever happened in these games is over, and and we'll be fine. What do you think of that catch Nestor made in the fourth inning, and just his overall outing? That was great. Uh, got got us out of the inning, and um, I thought he pitched well. Uh, doing doing as usual, um, making it tough on the guys, and uh, keeping us in the game. You have uh, 10 home runs in 20 postseason games. Do you, is there anything about your approach that you tweak in October, or is it exactly the same as you did during the season? Um, I mean, you like to have success anytime you're out there, so uh, you just got to continue to make adjustments. And uh, in the postseason is about, um, you know, the adjustments are more important than during the season because they got to come quicker and they're, uh, they're most likely do or die. So, um, you know, just uh, been fortunate to, to, you know, make the right adjustments and be on time for uh, some pitches. And, um, you know, I got to keep doing it. Luis Severino will get the ball tomorrow in game three. Based on the way he closed out the, se the season, just how much confidence do you guys have in him to go set the tone and, and kind of get the job done? Yeah, looking forward to seeing him go out there. Um, you know, finish the season great and um, with some momentum. So uh, he's got to carry that into Cleveland. He's going to do it.